Net neutrality rollback protests are being staged across the country at Verizon stores and here in Washington, D.C. at the annual FCC Chairman's Dinner. Our RT's David Miller is at the dinner at this hour and joins us live tonight for the latest. David? Yeah, Ed, net neutrality supporters are gathering here at the hotel in protest of the annual FCC Chairman's Dinner. Now, this protest is in part about the Chairman's plans to dismantle those net neutrality protections that are in place. And also, it's a day of protest across the country where thousands of people across more than 600 Verizon stores did gather outside those stores to protest the FCC Chair uh, plan to dismantle those protections. And I did speak to a couple of those protesters earlier today here in Washington, D.C. It's really important just to have the internet be free to everyone, regardless of who you are, where you come from, or how much money you have. And the repeal, it's honestly, in my opinion, it's just a cash grab. I, what's happened already is that they've tried to throttle service before and, and limit, and they were fined by the FCC because they were breaking the rules. Verizon's one of the ones that was fined thousands of dollars for breaking net neutrality rules. Now, uh, Ed, this dinner behind me is being attended by many phone and cable uh, executives, a bunch of lobbyists are here today also, but the, more importantly, there's some teachers behind us, uh, you know, ramping up their protest too, saying that educational products are being a part of this protection that will be dismantled. You know, as they say, it's an open market for the internet. And Ed, more than 600 companies have sent a letter to the FCC asking for these protections to remain in place. And the Democrats have asked for a delay for that December 14th vote. Reporting from Washington, D.C., David Miller, RT America.